guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Cancer, welcome to your April reading. Um, so you guys are my tribe. I'm also a Cancer. Um, so you guys are highly intuitive. You're all about family. Um, you know, it's hard to get past that shell, but once you do, uh, you're you love that person for life. So you guys um, are a very special group of people for sure. So I'm sending massive love to you right off the bat. All right, so let's begin here. So I'm going to use different decks. I got John Holland Psychic Tarot. So we'll use this for the past position. And the John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart for the present. And since you're so intuitive, if, if you see something in the reading that I'm not seeing, please comment below. I would love to hear your insight. So I got Fairy by Lenormand. So I'm going to use this for the union energy. All right. Um, we use the Osho Zen for the overall energy, and I'll read that to you at the beginning. Ooh, I'm excited. I can almost, I can feel your vibration, your, you know, intuitive energy kind of, ooh. So I guess this is going to be the energy for the overall, overall reading. It's going to be trust. So this is the Knight of Cups. Um, I think Aquarius got that card as an overall energy, either Aquarius or Pisces, maybe Pisces. Okay, so yeah, I feel this like collective psychic, oh my gosh, intuitive ability. Um, so I don't know what this is for, encouragement. So this is an awesome card. This is a, a little nudge from the universe. Oh my gosh, so if that's you giving me encouragement, oh my gosh, thank you guys. That's so crazy awesome. Okay, so this is actually going to be for the union energy, what both aspects are bringing in to the, to the uh, union. Okay, and so that was called Baron Reed Enchanted Map. Wow, the cards are really jumping around. Okay, and so this is going to be for the final outcome. Okay, are you able to see those all right? Okay. So what else? We got Dorian Virtue. So this will be for the near future. Okay, and we still need the heart-centered energy, so I'll use my deck for that. Okay, so let's begin with the overall energy. The Knight of Cups. So in traditional tarot, the Knight of Cups um, is a movement forward uh, to towards love, to offering your love, commitment, desiring uh, to be in a commit with, commitment with someone. Okay, so it says, don't waste your life for that which is going to be taken away. Trust life. If you trust, only then can you drop your knowledge. Only then can you put down, uh, put your mind aside. 
And with trust, something immense opens up. Then this life is no longer ordinary life. It becomes full of God, overflowing. When the heart is innocent and the walls have disappeared, you are a bridge with infinity. And you are not deceived. There is nothing that can be taken away from you. That which can be taken away from you is not worth keeping. And that which cannot be taken away from you, uh, why should one be afraid of it being taken away? It cannot be taken away. There is no possibility. You cannot lose your real treasure. So the cool thing that I was picking up on right away is, you know, knocking down those walls. And that's what I mentioned at the beginning of the reading. As a cancer, you know, we have this hard outer, outer shell. But what's inside is love. You know, um, the Queen of Cups is the epitome of love. She, um, you know, she gives love unconditionally. So this is a Knight of Cups. So there's a sense of movement of love surrounding everyone that's around you. And it doesn't necessarily have to be geared towards one person. What I feel is this cloud, you know, this pink cloud of love. And you being in this trusting nature for everyone, and isn't that what cancer is about? We trust. We're naive. We love everybody. Are you a hugger? I'm a hugger. So it's in our nature to help other people, to care for other people. So this is the energy that uh, cancer is going to be in for the next month. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I'm also going to shuffle um, my little deck here as well. So I'm going to be pulling three cards per position. Oh, jeez. So that was a five of cups that just popped up. So five of cups to me is caring too much, right? It's mourning, heartbreak, loss, just, you know, feeling like you're giving people your love and um, it's all for naught. Do you know what I mean? So never close your heart to anyone. Always stay open. Okay, and let me also shuffle my little deck here. Okay, so let's be random. Um, we all start with the present position. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit. It feels a little far away. I think you can see everything. All right. So beginning, oops, sorry, the present position for the feminine side. <laughs> nice. You guys are freaking me out. The first freaking card is the most intuitive card aside from the high priestess. So third eye chakra, feminine side, highly intuitive. So this is, um, you know, tapping into the subconscious mind to seek answers, you know, but you guys confirm that you guys are psychics and I'm kind of freaked out by it. So let's pull three clarifiers. The Eight of Wands. Transformation. And the King of Cups in the future. So we have a transition of uh, an overall energy from the Knight to the King of Cups. So let's go to the future, okay? So the King of Cups is also highly intuitive. They are the pinnacle of, of balance in terms of your emotions and your thoughts, right? So kings are ruled by the mind, but also we have that emotional attachment um, uh, with the cup energy. So there is harmony and balance emotionally and mentally in the future, but you're going through a transition. Um, so this is somebody who's deeply loving and the love is pure, right? Kirk Cobain loved so much that it hurt him. So the past position, the Eight of Wands, is accelerated motion. It's vibrations that are building and I definitely felt that vibration before we started the reading. So this is Cupid's arrows, love coming at you from the past. And this could be also you sending out love 
Okay, and it returns with this King of Cups. So it could be also communication, texting by phone, but you know, if you connect it with the third eye chakra, there's this 5D level of positive, powerful energy sent out into the universe. And because you're able to do that, that energy is coming back. Okay, so transformation card, one of my favorite cards in the deck. So metamorphosis, right? The butterfly rising from the chrysalis. So you are cutting away the ego. You are freeing yourself from any emotional or mental blocks. Um, and as well as a 3D reality. You're embarked on a spiritual journey, right? And you, oh, wow. And then that's that encouragement card. You're, you know, you, because you're on the right spiritual path, the Eight of Wands represents that energy coming back to you, fruition, manifestation of your dreams, right? And this is a gas, like you're, you're, um, you're stepping on the gas because you can see the finish line. It's right there. So, you know, the transformation is, it's cutting away the 3D reality completely so that this positive vibration of spirituality, love, um, intuitive ability can come through. So transformation was actually um, a major theme on the feminine side of the twin flame reading, right? So the, the, the message was to allow transformation, allow love and being able to be the king of love, um, allow your intuitive ability to, to shine, right? I would like to see... I would have liked to have seen the high priestess in this position, but the king of water is just as intuitive, right? Rivaled only by the high priestess. Um, yeah, so let's carry on here. So what's in the present position for the masculine? Moving on, eight of cups. So the eight... So the moving on energy, this is walking away from an emotionally draining situation. So I feel that the footprints are coming from an outside source or like an outside, an external environment. And he's walking towards the feminine, but it's almost like he's walking along the bank. You know what I mean? He's not fully immersed in the emotions. So the masculine side is thinking or, or is considering some, you know, releasing emotional baggage as well. I, it's almost like a mirroring that I see over here. Um, you are deciding not to be manipulated by emotions and so is he. He's moving on and he's embarking on a spiritual journey. So he's just beginning his journey. He's not fully engaged in the ethereal realm if you want to call it that right he's kind of just walking beside this ethereal realm beside his emotions okay so let's see what the clarifiers are okay so temperance destiny wow the queen of cups holy cow ain't eh? so in the future position um present future position we have that coupling of the queen and king of cups so he's moving towards the queen of cups and it's like the feminine is making room for the king of cups to come into his life he she set this um path in motion with the eight of wands so the past position is temperance card so this is having balance in all areas of your life so this gives a lot of you know strength to the eight of cups that he is not a mani manipulative or being manipulated uh, um mars i mean mercury retrograde oh my god i've been feeling glitches in the matrix for sure <laughs> the past couple of days so that's yeah okay um so the temperance again is having balance so he you know, that's why he it appears like he's just skimming the surface of his emotions because he's not diving deep into it. He's in the state of now, 
or at least he's bringing that energy in from the past. Now, the Temperance card is also the ultimate union card for Twin Flames, so it's the souls winding back together. So he, he feels complete. He feels in control. He's not overindulging, right? And so the Destiny card is in the present position, so he really feels a strong urge or calling from Destiny. Destiny is knocking on his door. So this is good luck and good fortune coming back. So there's a karmic energy being sent, set in place here. So because he was in the now, um, it, you know, there's no attachments to things. There's no control to things. He's just, oh, I think my battery is dying, so I'm going to have to stop. Okay, y'all better not be messing with my electronics here. <laughs> I'm like, hey, wait a minute, matrix glitch. And then my camera's battery dies, what the heck? And I was talking about Mercury retrograde and it like messes with electronics. So you guys are freaking hilarious. Okay, um, so yeah, you'll have to trust that I didn't mess with any of the cards. I don't need to, right? We are the king and queen of cups. We are intuitive. We, we know when somebody is pulling the wool over our eyes. Okay, so where is my train of thought here? So destiny, he, he's feeling that knock on the door. He's, he's, he knows that, you know, everything has its place. Uh, like that radio head song, everything in its right place. That everything will work out the way it's supposed to. So he's surrendering to destiny. And what's in his, in what is destiny? It's like destiny is pointing to her the queen of cups, the queen of love, right? So what is cool is how strong um, that water energy is in the reading on both sides. Very freaking cool. Actually, no. Um, give me another sign. If you guys are actually playing with the ethereal energy in my room, then give me all the synchronicities uh, that you can throw out because this is awesome actually okay so let's go to the past position let's deal with the past and put it in the past so the judgment card so you are seeking the truth okay but this is also the the grand awakening card it's making some real major realizations weighing um, the consequences of any decisions you need to make um, it is, you know, from that perspective, like you're seeing all the possibilities, you're seeing how things play out long term, there's foresight here, right? This person is looking at the universe, there's an expansion of the mind. So because of that, whatever decisions you've made are coming from this super massive wise space, right? So you're searching the truth. You weighed, um, you evaluated, you know, the consequences or whatever, and then you made your decision. Okay, so let's see what that decision is. So let me just actually give these a quick shuffle again. All right, here we go. <laughs> nice, three of wands. You know what? This is going to be a theme, so let's read that card. Encouragement. So you're getting another, another thumbs up from the universe. Encouragement. Nice, Yen. Nice, 11-11. Oh, my God. So, I mean, just look at the cards. It's like, what? I discovered something. Something is so exciting. Um... You know, this is that spark of inspiration turning into a, a roaring fire, right? You're getting encouragement not only from the universe, but from, you know, people around you. They're supporting you. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor. So it's grown, grown from the three of fire to the eight of fire in a very short period of time. So whatever decision you're made, you're being encouraged to do it. Because ultimately, it's bringing out 
the divine feminine within you. You discovered who you were a long time ago as a divine feminine. Your true authentic self has shone through. And so this is at the foundation, right? You, um, just like I said earlier, right? You can't fool a cancer. They can see right through you. They can pick up the signs and synchronicities, right? It's like, what this is telling me is that you are tuned into the universe and you can access, you know, whatever you need from the universe. You're aware that of your actions and how they affect other people. All your choices and decisions come from authenticity. And you know the truth about this twin flame connection. Your energy, the yin, is looking at the 1111 coming in your future. You have this strong intuitive knowing that it's coming. And the universe is saying, yeah, baby. So the empress yin is the goddess of love, right? The queen of cups is a queen of love. She is a goddess of love. Okay, I want to make sure that you can see these cards. What was that? Okay, so the past position for the masculine is destiny. <laughs> oh my god. So he's got destiny twice. He's, he hears destiny, you know, knocking on the door, right? And so here we have... This person's heart chakra is wide open. They're, they are being led by love. So this is also a completion of a cycle. So something major has uh, completed for the masculine in the past that it, he's still bringing into the present. Um, and he's being led by de destiny. It's a divine connection. Oh, shoot. You know, before I do that, let's read the encouragement card, okay? Otherwise, it's just going to keep on popping up all over the reading. So the universe has something to say. And this is actually the last card in the deck. You are receiving a nudge in the right direction. This card tells you that you're being gently encouraged to step into your power, into your dream of your life. New things out there are out there ready to be explored and the nurturing power of the universe is giving you a nudge in the right direction. You will get the help that you need and won't be alone on your quest. Oh my God, that, that makes me want to cry. You guys are making me feel so connected right now. I'm not alone. I feel your energy and it's kind of making my tears. I mean, my, my it, oh my gosh, it makes me want to cry. Okay. Um, you will get the help you need and won't be alone in your quest. Every step you take right now is supported by the wisdom of the universe. You are on the right path. Keep going, guys. And also message received. Oh, one minute. Sorry, kids had a little bit too much chocolate for Easter. All right, I got to shuffle the cards again. Okay, so we were... Talking about the destiny card for the masculine. Yeah, okay, stop there. Okay, destiny. The seven of pentacles, throat chakra, and the high priestess. Okay, so acknowledgement of a strong intuitive force on the masculine side with the High Priestess coming in the past. Um, so I'll get to that. Okay, so Seven of Pentacles in the past position. So this is waiting for harvest, waiting for the fruits of your labor. So there was a pause. Um, but this pause um, had to be, there was no control over it, right? So you're waiting for the, the uh, plants to bear fruit or what have you. So during that pause, there was a reevaluation phase. And so you guys are mirroring each other once again. What I'm picking up 
very strongly right now is the fact that we have a balancing of the yin and yang. There, you know, there is definitely a graying between each side, right? We have intuitive ability with the King of Cups over here, Queen of Cups, intuitive ability, feminine energy being sh represented on the masculine side masculine energy on the, on the feminine side. So this was actually a theme in the Twin Flame reading as well. Okay, so it's very, very prominent for sure in the Cancer reading. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles, like I said, reevaluation, contemplation. Thinking about where you made your mistakes so you don't repeat those. Seeing where your time is going to be invested. Um, so the throat chakra in the, in the present position, this is communication. So after a period of time, the masculine finally spoke or, you know, made a decision because this is a completion of a cycle. So made a decision, either spoke his truth or communication came to him that ended that wait and completed the cycle. So the intuitive high priestess in the future this is being divine, divinely guided, or no, not divinely guided, but being intuitively guided. So all of this destiny, all of this waiting, all of this communication was, in, you know, divine, or sorry, why do I keep saying divinely guided? Intuitively guided. Okay, so you, the masculine is trusting his instincts. He has made his decisions. He spoke a truth I don't know let me just move these up here okay hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense all right so let's move into the near future for the feminine side <laughs> It's kind of funny, this card showed up for Gemini yesterday on the feminine side, same position. So you're ready for a new adventure, you're, you know, you got this big old grin on your face. You've got your wand in your hand and you're ready to, to start at any time. So follow your passion, you're ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure, you're good to go. So the page, um, is energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. So it's very youthful energy, and you're you're beginning, um, you know, an adventure, and it could have something to do with spirituality. But we can see that no, it's not beginning uh, with the spirituality. This is something completely different. So this could be a creative project. But either way you foresaw the future you saw how things are going to work out you realize there are some that you need some things that you need to cut out of your life for the reward to be fully manifested okay so let's pull three cards queen of cups the king of pentacles and the solar plexus chakra so we have the queen of cups coming in from the past that would be you know the feminine water signs and so, you know, the Queen of Cups is intuitive, but she is, um, she gives love, love unconditionally. I mentioned that at the beginning of the reading. So there's a double green line here, which means that she's ruled by her emotions, but also gives love freely. Um, and sometimes that comes back to hurt her. So the present position is the King of Pentacles. So it could be an earth sign. So you're ready to begin a new adventure, either with an uh, earth sign or with um, the masculine in the 3D, right? He represents a 3D reality, but he's also, you know, he's all about home, providing a, a safe place for the kids to grow up in, make sure everybody's needs are taken care of, right? He's financially independent, but um, not placing a lot of important, importance on the 3D reality. He's all about family. So you, fit, you fell deeply in love with, with this energy and you're desiring this energy to come forth. Um, and so you're ready for that adventure. You're ready to start anew. And you know there's a spiritual connection there. 
solar plexus in the future position, so this is a lower chakra, lower than the third eye, so it's number three, um, third eye six. So this represents a blockage, so this is finding courage, power, and strength in order to overcome something or to exert your will onto the external world. So we see this empowerment, I feel it's more of an empowerment, not a blockage, because of the fact that the Page of Wands wand is here. They're on fire. They're ready to begin. They're full of confidence. They don't have a lot of um, mistakes to hold them back. Do you know what I mean? They're ready to learn their lessons. Okay, so the near future for the masculine is leap of faith. Wow. So what's catching my eye right away is this sense of detachment here. You know, he's walking up and down the shoreline over here. You know, he, now he's got a backpack and he's walking in the jungle. Okay, so he's got nowhere to go. It's This is more, you know, starting a new life, but not knowing really how that's going to work out. You know, just re he's ready to t take a leap of faith, which is very cool because... The Page of Wands and the Fool card are very similar energies. They're embarking on a new adventure. They are excited. There's this excitement driving them. The Page has a vision, whereas the Fool does not. So are you noticing that every position, there is a mirroring taking place? Very balanced yin and yang-ish. So you could be on either side, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you guys are both ready for this new adventure, but it is the masculine energy who made a decision to take a leap of faith. Um, yeah, actually you did as well, but there's more of a vision on the feminine side. It's like, I can see what's gonna happen. And you had that vision in the past this energy over here is more about the 3D reality, where this decision is, is all spiritual, 5D. Um, actually, then it turns to spiritual in the future, so mirroring, for sure. Okay, um, so the page of fire is also great news, great communication. Um, so back to the, the fool. So believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. So, complete detachment from any emotional ties, starting anew. Okay, three cards. Ha! Eight of Cups, same card here. Five of Swords. Nice! The Page of Wands. So, Eight of Cups, past position. He's walked on. He's moved on. He's making that doubly known. It's important for the feminine side to understand how hard it was for him to walk away. The Five of Swords is mental noise, conflict, you know, people fighting, finger pointing. All right, so again, he's pointing to the fact that it took a lot for him to, to walk away, but also that there was a lot of arguing going on in the past. But that he's putting that all behind him because now we got the page of wands in the future, right? You guys are on the same level now. Ready to begin excitement. Let's do this. It's like you guys are meeting up at the you know this the crossroads and you're good to go. You guys both got your pack sacks and you know thumbs up. Encouragement. You're you're being encouraged to trust and go for it. All right, so let's leave the final come till later. So what is the feminist side bringing into the union? Details, details, what? That is so weird because um, the uh, Gemini reading that I did yesterday had this card in this position as well as this card. So um, maybe some viewers out there have a connection to Gemini. It's just really cool. So, details, I think it was Gemini, yeah. Um, yeah, it is, I think. Okay, so anyway, um, details, details, this is the energy that the feminine is bringing in. So, this is sifting 
you know, it's, you're looking for clarity. You are watching how somebody is acting and behaving. You know, it's a small, minute body language. It's gestures, right? So you are in a observing kind of energy. So let me just read that for you. It's like you're not all in just yet. You're standing there with a big ass smile on your face. You're ready to go, but you are, um, you are aware. So it says the most powerful patterns are created within the uh, tiniest details. Pay attention. This is time to be aware of the all the fine print in. Oh my God. This is a time to be aware of the fine print in all areas of your life. Look at the details and leave the broad strokes for another time. When this card appears in a reading, it's a sign to finesse a project, make small but meaningful gestures, or add a personal touch to your correspondence. Be aware that what you need to know lies in the details. If you're entering into an agreement of any kind, pay attention to them before, not after, when it's too late. Clarity and transparency are key. You can gain great understanding by observing the minute body language, offhand remarks, and fleeting facial expressions that reveal the larger picture. So, again, there's a sense of you looking at the detail and seeing the bigger picture, it's right? You know exactly where this is going to lead, and that's why you got that smile on your face. Throat chakra in the past, another synchronicity, hope. Nice. Oh my God. Confirmation of what I just said. Okay. So throat chakra confirmation of this communication that took place in the, the past is important, right? This is union energy. This is what the feminine is bringing in. So, you know, she's saying, okay, um, I received you loud and clear and it could be an ethereal message, right? Cause we got that high priestess beside, um, the throat chakra. So, you know, sending out messages through the ethereal and receiving those messages. Or it could be that the feminine spoke her truth, but I'm not seeing communication on her side. Oh yeah, I do. Sorry, the eight of wands is there. Okay, so the feminine side has been looking at this conversation, communication. Now she may have cut off communication in the present position and, and she's relying solely on her intuitive ability in terms of this connection, right? And it's like the masculine is kind of doing the same thing. Um, hope card, present position, this is wishes granted. You feel like your dreams have come true. This gave you the evidence you needed, if you want to call it that, because you're looking for evidence, right, that everything's going to turn out great in the future your wishes and dreams are coming true but this card also comes after a difficult period of time so you're in healing energy so you're it's com for the confirmation that you're sending loving vibrations out into the universe you're actively doing that not just to the masculine but to the universe as a whole you're helping to heal Future position, we have the sun card. Okay, so confirmation that there are some awesome things coming in the future. So this is a new beginning. It reduces to one. Your hopes and dreams are coming true, right? What can make you feel like you're on top, that you are, you know, in the sun energy, which is the most positive card, would be an 11-11 connection. So you have this intuitive knowing that everything's going to work out and... Again, that's why you have that smile on your face. So the masculine side, what is he bringing in? Stormfields. Okay, so, um, yeah, chaos, again, is occurring in his life, right? We can see that in the near future. He was pointing to that. This too shall pass. An uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Things that you've left unattended may cause, may be the cause of some conflict. 
Pent up energy needs to be released, just as a storm in nature must break for these events to occur. When the electricity between opposing forces stirs things up and creates temporary disorder, not all storms are destructive, rather they serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, enabling seeds to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be ensured. Just remember that whatever is being stirred up inside you or between you and another will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid to shake things up a little. Okay, so this is what he's bringing into the union is change. Right, and it, it, this change comes with costs. Okay, three cards. Wow, the death card, six of swords. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice, the sun. Okay, so the death card came in the past position for him. So you guys, you know, she, the feminine side got the death card in the present. He, um, I, what I feel here is you guys are going through the transformation at the exact same time. You both are rising from the chrysalis. Balance, again, yin and yang. Could be either or. Again, six of swords, he's walking away from a negative situation in the present position. That's why there's so much chaos. Right, he's making a decision to move on. And what's in his future? The Sun card. Crazy synchronicity. He has that intuitive ability just as much as you. That's Cray, guys. Okay, so um, what's at the foundation? <laughs> nice, the stars. So, I think this is a card of trying to find your way home. So let me just look at the description here. Oops, where's the book? Um, oh, here we go. But what I'm sensing in this image is, you know, that feminine sitting there looking at the stars. Um, wow. Uh, the Gemini reading I did yesterday, there, you know, I, I named the title, um, You Are the Best of Me, and it was actually from a movie, The Best of Me, and the opening scene, you know, it's these two people that I haven't seen each other for a long time, and they're both looking up at the stars at the exact same time, so it's like, wow, very closely related to yesterday's reading with uh, Gemini. Um, so 16 is creation, direction, navigation, luck. So it's a beginning and endings. It shows where you can find your way, particularly when compared with a card in the house of ways. So as a foundation, both aspects are looking up at the stars and they're realizing that there's a better way that, you know, there's something more for them out there. And they both desire that new beginning. Put a lot of thought into it, right? Again, that energy of looking up at the stars. So one card for the masculine, ego, and the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles, slow movement. This journey has taken a long time. So confirmation, the feminine, has stuck in there. She's been there. She's... Um, committed to long-term manifestation of this connection in the 3D reality. So confirmation of the King of Pentacles is his desire to meet with or come together with the masculine in the 3D. Um, so this is my favorite night. He always arrives at his destination. And so it represents a very solid, strong foundation and commitment. Now the masculine is bringing in the ego. Okay, so we can see that negative energy, right? There's, he, this is a codependent relationship, an addiction, a chain. So he wants this life as well, but there's a chain holding him back, which he's releasing himself from, right? And like I said, it comes with consequences. And so, yeah, and it could even be like an addictive behavior as well. But he's being drawn. There's destiny is leading him. He's following his heart. Crowning energy. Okay. So this is somebody not doing their part. 
or arguments. So it's kind of what I'm picking up on right away is like that finger pointing, right? You did this wrong, you did that wrong. Now it's a crowning energy, so share between the two, and it's also an 11. So discipline, work, maintenance, and striving towards the good of the whole uh, can also show where not uh, where we are not being of service in arguing with others. So strife, conflict, arguments, um, ill feelings, and punishment. So. It's like, you know, no more drama, right? No more fighting. I, I want to put the past behind me. Hmm. See, I'm not picking up on any energy coming from the feminine side, so there's no fighting between the two of them. So let's pull the confirmation cards. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. And the, the okay. So the hangman is surrendering, letting go of control in the midst of conflict, in the midst of chaos. So he is going through a perspective shift. He wants those thoughts in the, his mind to end. He wants the fighting to end, right? And so that's why he's, you know, moving on from stuff, becoming the fool. Now the feminine is bringing in the nine of pentacles. So this is somebody who is um, financially independent, who has, you know, you're almost at the ten of pentacles, right? So I, you know, I don't want to be at that state where I'm retired. You know, I want to arrive at this place of independence, um, but still have, you know, time in my life to enjoy things, right? So this is a card of of splurging, looking after yourself, going on trips, right? So it's like, I want all this arguing to end so that we can finally be together and enjoy life. There's a definite 3D connection on the feminine side. Yeah. Okay, so what is at the heart? Wow, high priest. So this is, you know, somebody who's a spiritual leader who guides others. So I'm picking up on this, you know, making decisions for the whole. Um, you know, this is more of a collective consciousness energy with this card. He is the go-between um, the ethereal and the 3D reality. So he shares his uh, wisdom through spiritual teachings. So this is what is at the heart is this spiritual power, this third or sorry, this crown chakra activation, this, um, you know, this card represents divine guidance. And that's why I kept on saying divine, gu divine guidance, because, um, you know, this was meant to be, you guys were meant to come together to heal the world, to help others find their light. Right. So this card also represents vibe tribe. Okay, one card each. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God. The Divine Feminine. What's interesting is I don't see the Divine Masculine showing up on, on his side of the reading. But the Divine... Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, but the Divine Feminine, she recognizes who she is. The Feminine side is in her authentic energy. Um, but at the heart of the matter, the Masculine is recognizing that she is... Her divine, uh, his divine feminine, right, and that sh you know there's this spiritual connection, there's this um, deep knowing and, and connected connectedness, right, that is there is un undeniable, and so the feminine at the heart of the matter, you know, she got the ten of pentacles. She is. She feels grounded. She feels like she's already arrived. She's there. There's nothing out there that she's wanting or needing. She's just in this super enthusiastic energy. Um, you know, she feels she's already arrived at the Ten of Pentacles. She wants it to happen before they both die. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? 
But they're both spiritually awakened. They're both intuitively drawn. They both know that they're meant to be together. Crazy. Okay, so what's the final outcome? Oh my God, milk and honey. That's the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. I knew it was going to have a happy ending. It's like everybody's sitting around a big table, you know, your family, your friends surrounding you, and you're just enjoying life. All right, hold on one sec. Okay, so uh, the taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing, abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. Oh my God, trust, right? Holy crap. That's what you were doing. You were trusting that your needs will be met. That's why you got that smile on your face. Okay, so the meaning sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding and love among friends and family are all here for you now to savor. Your heart's calling will be answered, right? Wishes will be granted. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet and gratitude, uh, with gratitude, and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. That is awesome. Trust. Right, two, yeah, of course, two of cups, five of pentacles, and the nine of wands. Nice. Two of cups, past position, recognition of twin flame. You know who your twin flame is, right? And the purpose of a twin flame connection is to rise the, you know, raise the consciousness. And that's what's been happening. You trusted in this connection. And it will be manifested in the 3D. Even though you feel left out in the cold, like the Five of Pentacles is feeling like there's nobody around, that there's nobody there to help you through difficult periods, you're still trusting, right? And so the Nine of Wands in the future position is the wounded warrior feeling like give up, giving up, but this card also represents spiritual strength, right? You have what it takes to keep going. You're almost there. So again, it's like this encouragement from the universe. The final outcome is manifestation of this twin flame connection in the 3D reality. But there, there's this inkling of wanting to give up, but trust. Okay, it's been a long journey. The universe gets that, but everything happens in divine timing. Okay, so on the masculine side, peace. Oh my God. Oh my God, and I open it right to the page. Okay, so freedom from attachment, of course, radical acceptance. Uh, when two people are in true alignment with one another, they, are, they have an innate harmony between them. Yes, right? Truly aligned, you guys have harmony. You guys are reflecting each other right down to the last card. Except for, you know, in the union. Well, no, you guys are mirroring each other's energy. Even though he's going through a more difficult time, you're there counterbalancing him. So they are as two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to see who is he, who is who. Uh, peace is yours, and it is to be savored. That's freaking freaky. The Knight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and oh my God, the Ten of Pentacles. So the Knight of Swords, movement forward, could be air sign, right? So it's a, it's very chaotic energy, like the storm field, right? There's papers flying around, right? So he's a champion. He fights for truth and justice. He cuts away barriers. So it's very fast movement. And it's to peace and fruition and manifestation. You guys are freaking mirroring each other with these freaking cards. Nine of Pentacles. That's what she wants. That's what will come to be. And it's a progression from the 9 to 10, so it means that this is going to happen for long term till you guys die. Right? Holy crap. Don't give up. All right.
right, so let's pull two cards from Miss and Mermaids for final messages from the universe. Okay, so what have we got here? Wow, Divine Feminine again. Mermaid with Pink Lotus, number one. The Masculine, La Serena. This is like the death card. Or maybe, no, no, this is in the Divine Feminine. Um, okay, so Mermaid with Pink Lotus. Close your drowsy, drooping eyes and come with me to paradise. Leave your cares for just an hour to focus on floating flowers. Let the water soothe your flesh and leave you rested, fit and fresh. So right away, it's about rest, re relaxation, looking after yourself. A fair mer uh, mermaid drifts languidly among the tangle of lily pads in a tranquil lagoon. A single pink lotus blossom adorns her hair and a second floats nearby in the pool. So relaxed is she that her... Slight movements do little to disrupt the surface of the water. So the meaning, make an effort to relax. Stop what you're doing and take a deep breath. It is time to relax. You're not selfish and that could be a blessing. Helping your loved ones is an important way, part of who you are, right? And that's what I was saying. That's what cancer is about, helping people. But sometimes it's okay to set aside your worries about other people and take some time for yourself. Maybe you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Try not to let it wear you down. Instead, try these relaxation techniques to improve your health and well-being. Okay, so that's really reflecting on the nine and ten of pentacles. So, number one, close your eyes and imagine a personal paradise. What do you see, hear, and feel? Let yourself become engulfed in these sensations. Allow your breathing to become slow and even. And notice your energy flow through your body. This will help you feel refreshed and rejuvenated. Take a hint from the mermaid friend and let yourself be soothed by calming water. A walk near a beach or a lake or rest near a bubbling fountain can bring inner tranquility. And so I'm really connecting with all that, this water imagery, right? Because, you know, we are water signs, so um, we like to be near water. Um, are you finding it difficult to relax? A change in environment can be most helpful in reducing stress. A short getaway for some pampering at a spa could just be what your body and mind and need to chase away that stress. So that's what you want with the Nine of Pentacles, and that's what is needed. That's what the universe is saying. All right, and so La Serena, number 36, very similar to the death card. Remember those who have come and passed, loves that lingered but couldn't last, questions raised but never asked, lulls the enchanting, enchanting mermaid song. Remember joys from long ago, friends you now no longer know, dreams you had no time to sow, her words are tempting but ring wrong. A captivating mermaid preparing for Day of the Dead is decked out with skulls and flowers. She is seductive, enchanting, singing a song that is alluring but dangerous, and right away I'm picking up on that ego right the fighting the chaos storm energy so the message is do do not get dizzy with the songs of the mermaid remember to honor loved ones and put your past and your past but do not get swallowed up in the memories okay so that's what i feel right him walking away from the past um do not forget to live in the present and plan for the future or you will be doomed to live in the shadows of others. Bear in mind, the past shines brighter in the memories uh, than reality ever could. Do not be deceived into falsely remembering what has come before. The saying, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, applies to time as well as space. Remember, remain grounded in the present, not mirrored in the past or intoxicated with what could have been. A life lived fully in the present with healthy reverence of the past an optimistic eye on the future is of the best balance. Don't let the mermaid of remem remembrance beguile you. Okay, so, yeah, what I see here is a need to walk away from those negative thoughts. Don't hold on to the past, right? And, and we see that decision being made. It's a, 
he's going through a perspective shift in that regard. So trust, you're getting encouragement from the universe. Okay, so I do hope this helped. I love you guys. That was so much fun. I can't wait until next month. All right, cheers.